Many ancient sites, such as the ancient Egyptian necropolis of Saqqara, are known to house a wide variety of archaeological treasures. Well, in some cases, the researchers already know in advance in which regions the chances of a sensational find are particularly good. Other exciting discoveries are made completely unexpectedly, namely, in the middle of nowhere. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. We now show you which 10 unique artifacts, sites, and natural structures the experts came across from any civilization. Rupkund Lake The Rupkund Lake is a fairly small lake in the middle of the Himalayas. So far, so unspectacular. The horrifying secret that made the waters hit the headlines in the past slumbers at the bottom of the lake. There are actually hundreds of human skeletons here. After the mortal remains were discovered in 1942, they immediately presented the researchers with an almost unsolvable riddle. What circumstances led to the inconspicuous mountain lake turning into a mass grave? A complex study revealed that the bones date back to the 9th century. In the end, the experts believed they'd found the true background to this horrifying find. Accordingly, most of the victims were surprised by an extreme hailstorm in which countless tennis ball-sized objects fell from the sky. The problem, later analysis, revealed that some of the skeletons date from the 20th century. In addition, the victims apparently came from a wide variety of regions. Two devastating events must have occurred around a thousand years apart, killing countless people in the same place. What's especially interesting about this is how they were all found in virtually the exact same location. This has led some people to believe that the people who once lived here must have known about the first mass grave before beginning work on the second one. However, in the years since, information about both of these two grave sites has been lost to history. Researchers are hopeful that they'll be able to uncover more information about these graves soon. But for now, they remain unexplained and unsolved. Wash Woods We still don't know what the true background of the Wash Woods settlement in the U.S. state of Virginia is all about. According to an old legend, a serious shipwreck once happened off the coast, and some survivors managed to save themselves and reached land. As a result, they decided to stay on the uninhabited stretch of beach and build the so-called Wash Woods Settlement here. And in fact, many of the buildings are said to have been built with the wreckage of the ship that crashed. Around 1900, the isolated village had around 300 inhabitants and had two churches, a school, and a grocery store. However, extreme storms kept hitting the region, causing Wash Woods to flood several times. In the end, residents gave in to the forces of nature and turned their backs on their specially founded settlement. Mysterious Stone Balls Hundreds of stone balls about the size of a tennis ball have been discovered in different countries. The objects, which are several thousand years old, are particularly fascinating due to their almost perfect finish. What's particularly striking is that the production of these artifacts appear to have been a widespread practice at the time. The corresponding objects have been found not only at Neolithic sites in England, Scotland, and Ireland, but also in Norway. While some balls are adorned with artistic carvings, others amaze with their smoothly polished surfaces. In the past, many researchers suspected that the balls were used as projectiles and were shot at enemies with the help of slingshots. In the meantime, however, the experts assume that the stone balls served primarily as artistic status symbols that reflected the special position of their owner. As we're all aware, polishing a stone like this would have been incredibly difficult at the time. After all, polishing tools were not nearly as commonplace as they are today. 
In fact, most of us these days most likely don't have the tools necessary to complete such a task. Doing something like this all those years ago would have been remarkably expensive, hence why most researchers believe that the balls were more of a status symbol than anything else. It's unlikely armies would have spent such a long time and such a large amount of money on decorating balls that would simply be used to attack enemy forces. Kassar A Kassar is a rural Berber settlement that sprawls out of the hot desert sands in the middle of nowhere. In detail, these unique structures, usually made of stone or clay, are located in the Maghreb. This area includes different territories in Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, Mauritania, and Libya. In the past, Kassur, the majority of Kassar, served mainly as military camps. Later, the unique desert settlements were used as safe retreats or as storage chambers. Today, however, the sites remain largely unused. In addition to the modernization of living conditions, this is not least due to the fact that more and more people in the region are moving from rural areas to cities. For sci-fi fans out there, if some of the images look familiar, it's not coincidental. Numerous scenes from Star Wars Episode I were shot in Tunisian Kasur. Here, the venerable Berber buildings served as a backdrop for the desert planet of Tatooine. Ancient Rock Art In the 1980s, Canadian archaeologist Ernie Walker found some ancient bones and everyday artifacts at the Niwo Asiniak site. Did the researcher already suspect at this point that the excavation site near the city of Saskatoon was hiding even more mysterious finds? The archaeologist continued his exciting search for clues in the years that followed and was finally rewarded for his efforts. According to this, in Niwo Asiniak, Ernie encountered, among other things, a stone weighing more than 200 kilograms that looked like a rib. Another boulder, which weighed 340 kilograms, was decorated with lattice-like patterns. The largest of the four venerable stone works of art even weighs almost 550 kilograms. The unique objects are thought to have been made many centuries before Europeans arrived in America. Incidentally, the archaeologist was to receive surprising help with his sensational find. It was a herd of bison that moved across the site that was later found. They broke up the earth and thereby exposed the tip of one of the boulders. Los Lunas Mystery Stone it's 1933 when archaeologist Frank Hibben makes a most unusual find in a remote region. In detail, the researcher came across a massive boulder near the tranquil town of Los Lunas in the U.S. state of New Mexico that was decorated with cryptic symbols. For the expert, it was immediately clear that the inscription was ancient and therefore authentic. At the same time, he saw this as confirming a remarkable thesis, namely, the assumption that the region in question was regularly visited by non-indigenous settlers as early as the pre-Columbian period. However, Hibben was also known among his peers to have falsified some of his archaeological discoveries to conform with his theories. Because the Los Lunas Mystery Stone weighs more than 80 tons, it's never been removed from its location or subjected to any special laboratory examination. Believing they were doing something good for this supposedly ancient artifact, many lay people cleaned the stone inscriptions during their visits. The fatal thing is that they probably made it impossible to scientifically examine the patina, that is, the thin layer of weathering on the surface. Uluru the Inselberg Uluru, which towers 350 meters above its surroundings in the central Australian desert, is one of the most important aboriginal natural sites. For geologists, however, the 3-kilometer long and 2-kilometer wide massive has a completely different attraction, its unique history in the area. This is how the Inselberg formed over a period of hundreds of millions of years and is the result of various deposits that were once covered by the sea. Quite a few people who took home a natural souvenir from the visit to Uluru complained of the inexplicable feeling of being followed by bad luck. 
The unbelievable then happened. After they had brought the stolen stones back to the mystical island mountain, their bad luck is said to have broken off. Do you think these bad luck curses are connected to the spirits Aboriginal people believe dwell at Uluru? Stories like this have taken place time and time again. In fact, some people have written letters about their visit to Uluru, revealing all of the strange and almost unbelievable things that happened to them after they took a natural artifact from the area. Some people have reported anything from financial difficulties to losing the lives of loved ones after stealing from the area. However, as mentioned a moment ago, in nearly every case of this, the curse was lifted as soon as the items were brought back. No one seems to know why this takes place, but it's become such a widespread issue that many people have begun to believe it, even those who may not have a firm belief in the paranormal. The Eye of the Sahara In the west of the Sahara lies a mighty structure that's always given rise to the wildest speculations. With a diameter of 45 kilometers, the Ring Hill Formation is so gigantic that it can even be seen from space, which is why it served as a natural landmark on several shuttle missions. To this day, the question of how the mysterious Eye of the Sahara came into being has not been fully answered. The original thesis that the structure was the result of a meteorite impact is now considered unlikely. Current assumptions are that the structure was formed as a result of erosion of a domed geological structure. The most exciting attempt at an explanation is that these are the ruins of the legendary Kingdom of Atlantis. We owe it to none other than the ancient Greek philosopher Plato that we now know anything at all about the legendary island kingdom of Atlantis. The island is first mentioned in the dialogues Timaeus and Critias, which the philosopher wrote around the year 360 BC. The Eye of the Sahara fits all of the descriptions that were provided by Plato when he encountered the city thousands of years ago. According to legend, the city eventually flooded and became consumed by water. If this is true, there are likely countless ancient artifacts buried in the sandy terrain. This theory also details the writings of Plato and how several large gullies seem to line up perfectly with where Plato described rivers and other bodies of water flowing in and out of the city. Plato also claimed that there would have been bodies of both salt water and fresh water in the area, which seems to have been true as well. This theory has been debated by many mainstream historical researchers, such as Graham Hancock. However, no one's been able to disprove this theory completely. In all likelihood, the Eye of the Sahara may very well be the resting place of thousands of people who perished in the flood that claimed the lost city of Atlantis, if such a city truly did exist all those years ago. Patsky Pillar It's said that those who want to be particularly close to God should seek solitude. If this is true, the residents of the monastery on the Katsuki Pillar should have a particularly close connection to the Lord in heaven. In fact, the corresponding complex is located at the top of a secluded 40-meter-high limestone cliff in Georgia. A chapel and a residential building were erected on the summit plateau, which is just 10 by 15 meters in size. It's believed that the monastery was created as early as the 10th century. Today, the site is home to a hermit monk who descends a ladder from the pillar twice a week to hold a service. The necessary groceries are conveniently transported from his trailers to the top of the column via a cable winch. By all means, he never leaves this place and never has any plans to leave in the future. The Boy from El Plomo it's February 1st, 1954, when some looters climb into an ancient Inca site on the 5,400-meter-high summit of the El Plomo Massif. However, the robbers in the icy mountains didn't come across valuable treasures from the past, but upon the permafrost corpse of an eight-year-old Inca boy. Although the child had already died around the year 1500, his body was still in exceptionally good condition thanks to the frosty weather conditions in the mountains. The boy did not fall victim to an accident at the time, but died as part of a sacred ritual. 
In fact, in the old Inca mythology, the mountains represented independent deities to whom sacrifices had to be made from time to time. A year before the actual ceremony, the boy was served special weight gain meals. Arriving at the top of the mountain, the child was in turn intoxicated with alcohol and other drugs. Then the boy from El Plomo sat down in the prepared hole, which the priest closed with a heavy stone and covered with earth. The child ultimately died of hypothermia and lack of oxygen. Now it's your turn. Which of the featured discoveries captivated you the most? We're already looking forward to your comments. Please give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date from now on. Thank you for watching. Have a great one and see you next time.